mindset. Hi guys, so today's video, we're gonna use the, the knee bag. Um, this is a, a beginner, real beginner technique. Um, and I mean, anyone can use it of course, but this one I wanted to put out there for the beginners. How to develop their long knee, okay? So a long knee is not holding onto someone. Okay, in Muay Thai, it's like you can grab on someone and knee someone. It's technically not called a long knee, but when I'm doing a long knee, I'm like, boom, I'm striking my knee from distance, bah, and not having to hold someone or grab them to throw the strike. So the thing, the problem with the long knee that most beginners or people just starting off their journey is they don't know how to knee in, okay, and most of the time they'll knee, now if I say go near the bag here, I'll go like this, and I'll knee up, and I'll miss the bag, and I'm like, huh. And I go, whoa, well, it's not hitting. Well, when I'm holding a belly pad here on my belly, and I have a sh my pad here, and I ask them to knee, most of the time they're hitting my hand, they're not hitting into the body. And I'll say, okay, deeper, deeper, I want it deeper, which means I want the knee to penetrate deeper into me. If I ask them to hold my neck, and knee me, it's a lot easier because now they have something to hold on to. Again, like a, the training, I call them training wheels, and it's great because sometimes that helps you develop where you hold on, okay? And then I can, boom, I have a connection between my upper body and my lower body, and I can bring them together, okay? So from here, bang, okay, a pull and a push. Boom, okay, so this technique here. So how we develop our long knee is learning how to develop it with these simple steps. So I'm gonna show you three simple, or two simple steps to get to a long knee technique. So the first one is holding the bag. I use the word training wheels. It's not that you're a baby or anything like that, but I just use those wheels because it just, it's, it's helping us to um, mentalize and visualize okay, what it is we're doing. We're helping ourselves guide ourselves to our destination. So we're holding on here and we're going bang. Okay, there's our long knee, okay, even though we're holding. It gives us the stability to understand we need to go through the back. Hold, knee, okay, again, hold, knee, good. The second step, okay, so now we've been holding. The second step is we're gonna hold, but as we go to knee, we're gonna let go of the back. But we're holding for a, for a while just to feel comfortable, okay, and then we're gonna let go of the back. So we hold, let go of knee, boom. Okay, we hold, let go of knee. So now you know where it is, and just before you, the knee lands, you'll let go. Hold, let go of knee. Hold, let go of knee again. So this will help you know where it is, because you've already held it. So when you hold something, okay, you can feel it. Okay, so in other words, you, you don't even need your eye. You can, you can close your eyes, and here you can see, I can hold a knee with the uh, closed eyes because I know where it is because of my hands. So that's why when I let it go, boom, there's the knee. I know where it is, and I penetrate through. So that's our two steps to get to our third step, which is the long knee. So now we've done that. So now we can go hold, let go. I'm not gonna hold now. Boom, there's the knee. Now if I swing the bag like this, that makes it easy because the pressure of it coming to me is what's gonna create the feeling of me holding it. So we don't want that. We want you to develop a long knee where the bag doesn't move. Because the person sometimes will step at you, or sometimes the person won't move at all, they'll just stay still. So you still need to learn how to penetrate that knee without them moving. Okay, so from here, the bag is not moving. Boom. Now the bag's swinging because of my knee, okay? So let's go back, step one. Step two, to our long knee, okay? One, hold on. Knee, feel it go deep, okay? Boom, push it through, that's our first one. Step two, hold, let go of knee, okay? Do that again, hold, let go of knee, good. And then we come to our third step, which is a long knee. So now we're here, and boom, there's my long knee, okay? And then practice that again, hold, boom, long knee, good. Again, if you're feeling a little bit off, go back to the beginning, hold the bag, knee strike, cool. Let it go, feel that same holding here, bam, there's a knee, okay? Hold, let go of knee, let it go, feel that same feeling, boom, there's a the knee, coming back. So this, 
Simple step will really help you develop. Obviously, you can do it on the left knee as well. I'm just showing you the right knee for today's video. Okay, and this is gonna really give you that confidence of holding, kneeing, and feeling where your body is, because it's just about knowing your balance in your body when the target's, when you're holding the target, and then when you let go of the target, feel that it's still there, because it's still the same, and your body will generate and penetrate that knee driving straight through four, which is going into the person's body. So, great technique for beginners. You'll really develop your knee, long knee that is, because of course we have, you know, round knee here and short knees and stuff, but a long knee, again, which is from long range, somewhere on the strike, so I'm long, and penetrate my knee through the body. So, practice this video and uh, comment. Let us know how you feel. Thank you.